This is going to be a series of individual videos on testing of many do-it-yourself alcohol stoves that I built out of small clear lid, clear lid containers. Cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars each. I built a couple stainless steels around seven dollars each. This introduction part of the video will be included at the beginning of each stove video burn test. So skip ahead a little bit if you have already watched this portion of the video and want to get right to the burn testing. Each stove and video will be numbered and tested. Go to video number one if you want a basic description of the many stoves. I'll try to put all the specs in the description box of the video. Uh, what I'm going to test is the warm up time, boil time, burnout time, water temperature, and surrounding air temperature. I'll also include the alcohol capacity of each stove, the size of the stove, and the various materials used such as tin, aluminum, stainless steel. There will be a jet type, a wick type using carbon felt right here. Uh, and that will be to compare the different designs and materials. Each test will be done with the same aluminum pot. It has a 5 inch diameter bottom. I bought it at Walmart for a couple bucks. Um, well, I'll be using tap water. It's around 60 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees Two cups of water and there will be a couple tests that I'll use four and six cups of water Surrounding air temperature is in my garage. It's winter time in Iowa, but my garage is around 40 degrees So it's a little cool uh, My water temperature thermometer is about five degrees low so keep that in mind and all the specs that I'm doing here is is not exact it'll be approximately I have some extra materials to build other stoves so if you have any suggestions or want me to try something different please let me know and I'll do it let's get started with the testing Okay, here we go, do it yourself. Alcohol stove number 10, it's made out of these, they're called Decos, you can buy them on Amazon, $7 for three of them, they're stainless steel. They're condiment holders, uh, they have a clear plastic lid. Similar, this one's gonna be like stove number nine. Go back to that video if you wanna see how that worked, which it, didn't bring water to a boil but it'd be good for a simmering stove not sure what this one's going to do let's get the test started and I'll talk a little more about it well here's the stove and it's made out of an aluminum mousse can that you can get at the dollar store of course on the bottom see I have holes so the alcohol can flow through four holes, four slots I should say, and this mousse can fits right through the center of this, the lid, so it fits real nice and seals up tight. You might have to bend that down a little to get it in. It's a tight fit. Uh, here's the mousse can. It's aluminum. Take a magnet in with you to the dollar store because most of these cans are made out of tin and you want aluminum seems to work better. Let's get the test going. Okay, we'll get her lit up. Stove number 10. Start the time. See how long it takes to warm up. Seeing the last number nine took two minutes and 30 seconds for the jets to get burning up. These jet holes are 330 seconds. Actually, they're 564 inch small holes, and they're a half inch apart along 
the bottom of the where the lid catches right there. This stove will hold up to an ounce and a half before it'll start coming out the jet holes. I'm gonna do one more test, the final on this stove. I'm, I'm gonna put an actual ounce and a half in this stove and try to boil more water. This has three quarters of an ounce alcohol, denatured alcohol. The jets are going at one minute, seven seconds. So the jets took off a lot quicker. We'll let it get good and warm before I set that pot on it. The top of this aluminum moose can in the center has some slots cut into the top of it so it allows some air flowage. You want that to get good and warm before you set that pot on. We'll see what happens. Got the pot on, seems like it's going pretty good. Seems like it's warmed up enough and they'll stay going. Got water temperatures, uh, started out tap water at around 60 degrees. The outside air is 40 degree air temperature. We're at two minutes. We're already up to 70 degrees. Like I said, I'm gonna do another test, call it 10.5. I'll put an ounce and a half into this same stove here and we'll see what that, how much water we can get to boil. And that'll be the last of the stoves unless anyone else has any suggestions I have a lot of extra stoves here I can try some different materials different things different size holes whatever any suggestions leave a comment we'll come back in five minutes we're at 84 minute 84 degrees water temperature three minutes time these deco stoves we're coming up on five minutes but these deco stoves you can get on Amazon they're about seven dollars for three of them plus shipping and that was about seven dollars but if you're an Amazon Prime you can have free shipping so these are a little more expensive but they last a lot longer they don't rust we're at 118 degree water temperature at five minutes this stove seems to be working a lot better than stove number nine. With the larger holes. You can see it kind of jetting out every once in a while there. Building up pressure and it jets out. We'll shut her down until it starts boiling again or the water starts making noise. All right, we're at eight minutes, 185 degrees. It's starting to sizzle a little bit. degree water temperature we need to get to 205 for boil starting to steam out the top of the lid 196 98 Still burning good. Three quarters of an ounce denatured alcohol. Nine minutes. 203. 205, we'll call it. Nine minutes and 10 seconds boil. 
9 minutes and 10 we'll see when it goes out The actual temperature for boiling is 212, but this water temperature thermometer is off a little bit. Based on all the other tests, at 205 it's boiling. It's still boiling really well, 10 minutes. Close. And now it's 10 minutes. This stove weighs approximately 1.5 ounces. Stove 9 with the thick aluminum pipe weighed about 3.5 ounces. So this one's a little lighter to carry it around if you wanted to. And it looks like it's dying out at about 10 minutes. Still going. quit boiling but it's still barely jetting we'll call 11 minutes even though it's barely going 11 minutes so there it is we'll do test 10.5 I'll go with the same number 10 stove and put in one and a half ounces and see what we can boil